Hi guys, welcome back to the watch mission. Uh, today we're going to look at the rest of the video for uh, the Towson watch company. Uh, you saw me do the unboxing of it uh, about a week ago. Uh, once I put that video up, uh, you know, Spencer, the, the CEO of the company said, hey, just, just wear it for a while, see how it feels on you, see how you like it, uh, and then do the rest of the video. So I definitely took him up on his word. Uh, so I, I wore it um, uh, pretty much all last week and uh, really enjoyed it. But before I get there, I do want to say uh, a quick congratulations uh, to one of my Discord members uh, who won. So congratulations to Anna. So as you can see here, we only had four people enter uh, the, the contest. So you had a one in four chance of winning a $550 chronograph brand new. Uh, so that's not too bad of a deal. Uh, I'm going to be continuing uh, giveaways like that. So, you know, it, it's really in your best interest to, to join while you can, while the, the volumes are kind of low. It's not going to be a, you know, a $500 watch every time, uh, that's for sure. Uh, but, you know, I am going to try to give away stuff a, a, as often as I can. And that, that a lot of that depends on some of the manufacturers that that have me review their watches and keep them. Uh, other times I'll just, I'll buy them myself. So you guys already saw me do the unboxing, so I'm not gonna go completely crazy on their, their packaging here. But it is worth noting, once again, they do a great job of, of packaging. Okay, and here we have uh, the Towson Recruit. And they call these the Recruit and Cadets, hopefully I get this right. Basically it's kind of to support or honor uh, the, the new military recruits uh, that are up in the area where this watch is made. This is an American-made watch up in Maryland, and uh, he, he designed these 100 pieces total, so 50 pieces each of the recruit, which I have here, and 50 of the cadet, uh, which you'll see on the, the website here in a little bit. Uh, so a very exclusive uh, n number set, and it's really meant to be worn with kind of the, the dress military attire which is quite obvious. I mean, th this is a stunningly finished watch. I am very impressed. When he told me how much this was going to be, and this one gets, I'm recording this November 1st. This one does get released in November. I'm not exactly sure what date in November. Uh, but, you know, w once I took a look at it and wore it for a while, and then I found out what the price is going to be, uh, I kind of had a price in my head that I thought it would be. You know, it, Beautiful strap. It, all Towson watches come with really amazing leather straps. Uh, kind of a, it's got a, a custom made deployment buckle there. And uh, as I'll show you on quite a few of the uh, pictures that I took, the case, it, it's almost a combination of, uh, you know, kind of like a, a Zelos, but not quite as sharply cut. Uh, you know, to something more uh, along the Swiss and German lines, where it's just very, very well refined. And the finishing on it, the polishing, is phenomenal. So I thought for sure this was going to be uh, somewhere around the, the $2,000. Uh, you know, it does have a uh, SW200 movement in it, I believe. And it, it could have been an ETA or a, or a SW200. I'm not sure exactly which one he's going to have on the site. Uh, once these are, are, are launched, but those are kind of clones of each other anyway, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so you're going to get the same, the same quality. But the price is going to be right around $1,200 for these. And when you talk about the finishing that they, they do, uh, these cases, if I'm not mistaken, are made in Germany. Uh, you know, pretty much all the parts inside are Swiss parts, and then they're, they're, everything's kind of put together here in the U.S., uh, as well as the finishing uh, customization of the movement. Everything is done here by their artisans that are... Uh, this one is numbered, I'm going to say number 19. Am I right? Yeah, this is number 19 uh, that I have in hand here. And it really struck a chord with a lot of people uh, that I was kind of hanging around with. I took it to a, a car show and, uh, you know, people noticed, noticed it right away. You know, of course, I was taking pictures, you know, with it near the cars, uh, some real high-end cars. But they really liked it. Uh, and that says a lot for something that is kind of a military field watch, because a lot of military field watches, just like this, there's not a whole lot going on, not a bunch of complications or anything. But you just don't need it. The, the finishing on this is so good. 
So when it comes to the actual measurements of the watch, uh, he's got some great schematics here that kind of tell you every little detail about the hands, uh, all of that. So yeah, when you get to the actual measurements of the watch, uh, it's uh, 41 millimeters. Now I, I measured it just over 40. He might be including some of the lug guards here because that, that does kind of measure right around 41, but definitely wears more like a 40 or even less. It, it wears small on the smaller on the wrist, not, not large. Uh, you know, for example, this uh, fair that I have on is a, is a 41, but when I put on uh, the, the Towson, it fits my wrist uh, quite a bit better. So you can see that does not look nearly as large as what the Towson, or sorry, it was as what the, uh, the fair is. So this is a 41.5. They're telling, they're measuring this at a 41, but it definitely wears like a 40. And you know, this cushion case here actually, you know, there's, it's almost lugless, if you will. Uh, but this one just wears better on the wrist, at least from a dressier stand. It is uh, 10.5 millimeters thick, and it does have 20 millimeter uh, uh, lug width. So the lugs definitely do curve down uh, quite a bit, and that certainly helps with the overall kind of hug of the wrist. And uh, make, makes it feel really nice in there. I don't really have it sized for me at the moment right now, but uh, it, it wears great. Of course, I have it uh, pulled out there so that it's hacking and stops so that the hands are where they're supposed to be during a review. Uh, but moves super smooth. Uh, just a really great watch uh, to have on. And I know Towson isn't the household name necessarily, but in my opinion, and this. That they have other watches that are, uh, I don't know, twice the price, maybe even three times the price. And they're all built great. Uh, this one is just my favorite one that they've made so far. It's just more my style, and I know that's subjective, but I, I really think they've just knocked it out of the park with this one as far as being uh, attractive to more people. But the loom on here is really good. Uh, the, the finishing on the dial itself, you know, it doesn't look like uh, too much. It, it looks rich when you look at it, but until you get uh, kind of macro up close like we are here, you don't notice all the detail and all the effort that they put into it, and they put in a ton. So uh, once again, Spencer, excellent job. Uh, your, your watchmakers are fantastic. Uh, thank you very much for letting me uh, take a look at it, and uh, good luck on your launch this month. Thank you.